Chase Hotel. Yep. Goodyear Tower, Skyhawk 881 Alpha Charlie, runway 21, Alpha 1, ready for departure. Goodyear Tower, we'll pull out for Cox, South Wing. Seneca 43690, the uh, Sears departing ahead is straight out. Straight out departure approved, runway 21, cleared for takeoff. 21, cleared for takeoff, Seneca 43690. Up, Charlie, get your tower, runway 21, line up and wave, traffic on right down wind. Line up and wave, runway 21, uh, 881 off of Charlie. Grove 864, I'm going to try, runway 21, continue. Grove 864, Fox, 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 Just needed one off Charlie, straight out departure, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Runway 21, clear for takeoff, 881 off of Charlie. Alright, just line yourself up and you're ready to go. Alrighty, runway 21, I see that. Line is in a line, see what? Oh, on the green. SB is alive. Fifty-five. I bring my nose down just a little bit. All right, you going to do your climb checklist? Okay, climb checklist. After takeoff. There you go. Laps up. Throttle full. Mixture. Engine instruments within limits. Landing and take up. Landing lights. Strobe right on. Yep. How did I not turn that one on? Okay. Climb complete. Alrighty. Perfect. My controls. Your controls. Your hood. My hood. Now, I want you, before you put your hood on, look behind you. You see the runway? Yeah. <laughs> All right, when you're tracking, uh, I'll show you in a second. Put your hood on. Good. Don't play well with hats. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, can I do this? Can I put this on my uh, thing? Or? I want you on here. Okay. Alright. Your controls? My controls. Alright, so that's not you didn't want to control. You continue to climb and uh, to. Let's do. Probe 864 Fox Trotter left out 5. Probe 864 Fox Continue to climb to 4,500. Okay, climb to 4,500 and maintain this heading of uh, 120, please. Maintain is it? One, your two, zero. Eight thirty four, holy short runway two and alpha one. Uh, nice control. and baby controls. Slow inputs here. Bring that nose down. Nose down. All right. All right Barney, uh, eight thirty four. Does so you control the two one, one zero, not one two zero? No, uh, two one zero. Excuse me. Yeah, so off of here, here, we're going to look at look around about two zero eight is a good track that we have. Stay maintained at Okay. You had me confused because I was looking at the two hundreds and you were telling me one twenty. Uh, sorry about that. That was my fault. Got a little right. dyslexic today. I saw it. Two one zero. I want to keep seventy four. Yep. And I'll go ahead and focus for you really quick so you know what altitude we're going to be flying to. Okay. Okay. Utilize the tools that we have. All right, that's our target altitude. Okay, I want two on it. Two on it. Yep. So if you want, you can go ahead and plug your heading as well. Okay. Good time, honey. Eight fifty one. Hold short. One right to one. And I'm going to say what the time is. Barney, eight fifty one. Good, your tower. Hold short. Runway two one. Forty-five. Okay, we passed the Delta airspace. 
Let's Native are they, um, Bravo. Yeah, the Bravo 4, that's running 6,000. I mean, east okay. of the parallel taxiway at all times. Good year, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 8, wind 2, 2, 0, 8. And that's uh, not west of Emergency Direct, you'll have that. Alright, 2, 1, 0. I say gentle, no one in five degrees of pink when you're in here. So you see these little green triangles on top right here? Yeah. We're going to stay within those little green triangles. So like if you do a nice little bank, that's okay. all you want to do. So you don't want to do any excessive turning. I think you're going to start be, you're going to start tracking it back and forth. Chasing it, and chasing it, lost, yeah. it, you know? Yep. And then you're in trouble. Yep. So that's why you get nice little quick. Because eventually you'll get there. We're not in a rush to get there. Okay. Okay, we're at 4,300. Uh, stepping on the wall too hard. We have a ride cover stock at Awan Vitelli. It is approximately 4,500 over Twin Lake, heading towards Buckeye Beaver, then to Wickenburg. Uh, we have a ride cover. Okay, getting to 4,500. Level again. Level again. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, level. And cruise speed, I want to get to what? Uh, cruise speed, let's, uh, let's get there a little faster today, so let's okay. keep it around uh, your RPMs to be. So we are going to actually be cruising. Yeah, so uh, RPMs, we're going to have around about, let's see, 2300 RPMs right now. Yeah, probably around 100, uh, indicative 100 uh, knots. Did you say 100 knots? Yeah, we'll try for 100 knots or you know, anything around there. So okay. I've got your about 23. 4369, zero, yep. Three. Hi, this is Ronnie 474. We're climbing to. Uh, Alright, it's that 8A1 patrol. Go ahead and give me a right turn to heading up two. Six zero, a right turn. Right turn, eight two, four thousand. Sounds good. Maple Valley, Varney, four seventy three, six thousand five hundred five miles. Uh, Buckeye VOR, keep the spiral as well, shout below, but Maple Valley. Two six zero. Too far. Yep. Two six zero. And I lost hundred feet. Get that back. If you need climb, then press the power right now. Okay. Add power. Pitch your nose up slightly. No more than five uh five uh no more than five uh at 5 degrees on the pitch attitude when you're climbing. Almost like 2.5 would be good just to get that baby climb to get, some, yeah, get back up to the altitude. Okay. So I need a little bit more power. 2.0. I got off course. And I'm still down. Okay. Okay. Yep. I'll keep doing more power. Grinding out all the gauges. So I like to always go like, I use a method like the base track method where you kind of circle around nice and slow. So you indicate like, all right, my airspeed is a little bit lower than I anticipated, so it should be in a slight climb. You see a slight climb on this one, and our pitch edge is actually a little bit lower on this one. Two six two, two six zero. Attitude towards your nose. Lay down. Alright, your air speed starts to pick up again. Okay. And where's your heading going? So the heading's going way right. So let's go back to the right. Okay. Alright, You got that. this, you got this. Just Green breathe. Okay. <laughs> nice and slow. <laughs> <laughs> 
on like one thing at, at a time, okay? So how about this? So if, you're, if you need to get back to your 260, 
Get back to 260. Level boats went south. We need to get now. So get back to 260. Now we need a little bit of a climb. Let's go and get a slight little bit of a climb. Let's get back to 123,500. Now we have one thing going on at once. Instead of doing three things at once, now it's just one thing. It's chasing it. Oh. There's my altitude. I got a little high, but that's fine. Now we can kind of go and see if we need any trim here. So if we let go, looks like it's a little bit of a. It could be a few updrafts, it feels like, because I even might sound like I'm just a little bit. But then I know it's just a little bit yeah. But if you see how much I'm going down, it's all about high, you know, 2.5 degrees. I pitch nose down, pitch nose up. And then look at the heading, making sure it looks okay. Alright, there's my altitude coming up. And I can feel. Okay. I need that left rudder. I thought you had a left rudder right for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait a second. I'm a little off here. <laughs> but yeah, so you just keep on going with this and a little bit high again. So I think there's going to be a lot of updrafts, right? Because we have the clo like, a little more puppy clouds, as we were saying in the forecast, too. Okay, so it's going to be a little more bumpy, but we can manage this. Yeah. So a little bit right there. Stop it. You can kind of feel how. It needs a little bit of yeah, that concept left. Yeah, so that's not me. Uh, yeah, right. Hi. Yeah, that's obviously no pleasure. Uh, perfect treatment. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, sorry. See, I got sidetracked. Three two miles northwest of Park Tower Plant, 6,500. I'll give you by the way. I'm going to get us back up to altitude really quick here. Alright, I'm going to give us a climb to uh, 6,500. Just to see if we can get out of this little two round weather. We might have to descend down, we have a few little baby clouds in the way. Stop right here because there's no traffic that looks like a little higher. Ooh, no, it's about a 6. Alright, he's, uh, yeah, so we have one, uh, one to the right of us and one to the lower us. So we're just going to keep on. I piss off the two until we pass them. Then once we pass them, we'll go ahead and head towards Wickenburg. Yeah, I turned off the notifications. How do I turn those back on? I do not know right now. Uh, I'll figure it out. Traffic. Alerts inhibitors. Oh, man. Um, anyway, I could have got any one, but Charlie is over at Arlington Town at 4,500. We are ascending to 6,500 and heading towards Wickenburg. But I have a lot of traffic. Alright, let's get back to my phone. Okay, so I can really try it. I'm going to, uh, now we're heading towards like Wicked Bird here. 6,500, you said? Yep. Alright. Like I said, I'm just going to try to get you at an altitude that's a little bit not as bumpy, so maybe you can control a little bit easier. Okay, show me how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now in our Randy 410, where you headed? Our uh, flight plan. Yeah. It does not uh, uh, in the correct area, itself. Right now we're go no, so, so we're gonna have to do. I'll show that in like two seconds. Okay. All right, we're gonna head. Uh, Actually, we're going. What you're going?
flight plan. Rainbow Valley, 5 9 Victor, South Cattle Shed, 2500. Have another gap back to good here, Rainbow Valley. Cloud level is the base is going to be on 6.5, so we might not be able to get to 6.5. Okay, so. And if you want, you can go ahead and take off the hook for now, and then on the way back, we'll do a little more hook time, okay? Okay. Alright. Your controls. Uh, where do I store this thing? I can take it for you. Then let me get a drink of water first. Oh, of course. Oh, wow. Do you want to uh, explain the the change while you're flying, or yeah, so of course. I can pay attention? Yeah, of course. So when we're actually like if we're going to another one, this is a direct route, so it's going to take us straight to there. So if we put it direct again, push enter, now it gives us that direct route that we want to take. Oh, so I do the same thing here. So if yeah, so it's direct, direct, then it's going to take you straight there again. Light plan. Direct and then so now we know we have like our heading that we want to take. So direct heading is going to be. So if we track uh, 3, 4, 8, so check this out, watch. Okay. 3, 4, 8, that's your track. Our track is right here, track 3, 4, 8. And now it gives us exactly where we, like, where we want to be going. With the heading and the track. wind? Yeah, so yeah, exactly. So we got 3, 4, 5, so then go 3, 4, 5 again. Oh, and I got sidetracked it, and I climbed 100 feet too high. <laughs> uh, see what you did to me? <laughs> uh, I see. I was I just testing it. Exactly, so. I should have realized, man. Ah, oh, Rainbow Valley, 59 Victor, 3 miles south of Port Lake. Head towards the gap back to Goodyear, 2500. Last call, Rainbow Valley. Alright, sorry, I need this phone. So I was able to do that on mine as well. So that's cool. So that was a good lesson learned. Wow, I need to pay attention. Alright, we're getting a little closer to the clouds, and it looks like this cloud's going to be about the same height. Let's go ahead and descend back down to 4,500. So, keep that. Uh, what's the heading? Uh, Alright. So, and we might have traffic source, so we'll have a friend of ours. Alright, we should be good from here. Alright, your controls. Alright, controls. 4,500 feet, I work. I'm heading towards. Uh, 832 is about 4 miles to the north. 258 is what I'm looking for? Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 zero? Zero. 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 Yeah, so then we can put it on like 425. We're just up and down 3,000. Maybe about 15 minutes. You want to be changing that, right? Bug. So we gotta adjust that. About right. Rainbow Valley traffic running 453 is about 3 miles to the north west. We're going to 6500 or 4500. Yeah, we're just gonna be going for a flight. Rainbow Valley traffic is about 2900 miles northeast of the road. I think I'm out of Rainbow Valley traffic at this point. So, now while we're outside of, uh, while we're in the cruise, do I need to keep my hand on the throttle? Or is it uh, mostly for it, It's always just good to have like a good habit just keep your hand on the throttle. Okay. Is that a complaining? Just a question. Oh yeah, no, that's how it goes. It's like, usually that's what you want to keep on doing. So basically what we're doing is following this whole line right here, this little riverbed right here, kind of indicates where the load area is, and then not, like, you know, just the normal okay. space. So I want to set this to 4,500, yes, for example. Push it in. Push it in. One tap, and then twist over. Uh, twist over. Oops. Uh, altitude. Push. Yep. And then 4,500. Yep, and when you're so also take a glance at where you're heading. You're making okay. sure that you're still on point. Nose diving. Yeah.
Alright, so how far are we from uh, Wickenburg right now? Um, 26.5 nautical miles. Okay. And if we had a uh, DVA or anything along those lines, because uh, Wickenburg's runway is now closed, what are we going to do? We're going to go for the nearest, well, we could just turn around. We're not to land unless we lose our engine. So we is three miles to the northeast of railroad track, Go back the way we came, or go around the White Mountains. All right, so which airport would you like? Go nearest. Let's say we had to land. So if I hit tap nearest, and the can you give me all the runways the in the area? Which Air Force Base is not obviously one of them. Okay, here we go. 4,500. How come it didn't ding at me? <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and track to zero. Go about 24 nautical miles away, 25 nautical miles away. Let's see what the AWAS oh, is telling us for. Back in here. Nice. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and track to Two six zero. Two nine eight. Two nine nine eight. Two nine 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 eight. Two eight zero at three. What was that? So it's two eight zero at three. So two eight zero at two. Eight zero. Okay. Zero eight zero ten. Looking good. Going too fast. Slow down a little bit. Yep. It's a little bit there. Trap. Okay, is this plane needs to be trimmed? Uh, Wait. my left rudder needs to be on all the time. It might be a little off and it's like a little bit trim cab in the back it's something that we don't really mess with. Right. Trap. Trying to be the bigger to me or the aircraft. Yep. The track is going to be B40. Force bearing. So 350. Force 350. Alright, enter again. Alright, can we give me a heading of B40, please? 340. Yep. Great track. It's going to be B40. 40. There we go. That's what I want to see. Zero. And what is uh, Wickenburg frequency? Wickenburg yeah, frequency. Uh, C tap. Uh, what is it? Put it on this one. Okay. Wickenburg. Uh, now, how can I find that out? Uh, it's probably it's too on this one. Yeah, so you're going to see if you zoom into uh, Wickenburg, you can see on the map. Okay, don't go diving while I'm trying to do that. Yep. Just kind of glance down, focus, and glance back up and look around. Right, right, sure. Area 134 is approximately 5 miles to the north of the railroad track, 3,800 power on the remote. We can see. Unicom is 1, 2, 3. Hey, AWOS, so we already t you turned it out, right? Yep. That's what we're listening to. 1, 2, 3.0. So we're going to turn this one, or so that right one. There, 1, 4, 2, 3. three. Right, I'm going to get straight level. Plant. One, two, three, yeah, zero. Plant. Take one pilot, take one pilot. One, two, three, zero. Switch. Yeah, we can go into that. One, two, three, zero. Five, 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 five,
and we have somebody. So the winds are at uh, two uh, two eight zero. So we have runway. Uh, uh, let's see here, zero five and runway two three. Which runway do you, is more uh, preferable? Zero five. Uh, zero three, right? So we have runway zero five or uh, uh, two three, and the winds are com uh, coming from two eight zero. Which one would you use? Wickenburg, Charlie. Winds are coming from 280. Yeah. Yeah. Don't we want to go with 5? Uh, no, we want to run like 2-3. Anything less than like a 90 degree mark, so anything within that 90 degree envelope between like uh, our runway heading. We have some jets ahead of us. Cool. How come that didn't come up? Uh, it's it, 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 like a thousand feet above us, so we're oh. factor. Alright, so we're coming up to 15, uh, 15 uh, nautical miles, and we have somebody that's a pattern for runway 23. So uh, let's, go, let's go ahead and say, say uh, Wickedburg traffic, Skyhawk 881 for Charlie, is approximately 15 nautical miles to the, to the south. Uh, to the south. We'll be entering in a. Uh, a right 45 for runner 23 for uh, some touch and goes. I mean, we're about, oh, not about, uh, we can work traffic. We can work quick traffic, Skyhawk 80, one off of Charlie, uh, uh, eight miles south of the airport, coming in at 45 degree at runway 23. Uh, close. We can work traffic, Skyhawk 80, one off of Charlie, approximately 15 out of come out to the uh, south. We'll be entering a right uh, 35 for runner 23, uh, remaining in the pattern for touch and goes. Uh, uh, Wickenburg traffic. traffic, Skyhawk 21212, on final for runway 23, touch and go, departing to the south, Wickenburg. Alrighty. So we're. Uh, so it's going to be pretty much uh, over this like, uh, balance range that we're going to see here. So we can start looking out. Six miles at this point, uh, you can still be. Okay, so that's the high range. That's um, if we were going on a normal track, that would have been on the left, right? Yep. So that's the gap, kind of through that peak that we need yeah, to avoid. So, yeah, exactly. So we're going on the right side of the on the peak right here. You want track and watch. It just this is like we're well above the mountain ranges, everything, everything will be fine. Then once you come with the mountain, you're going to see where the runway's at. Then we're going to come back up and around, and then we're going to enter into that uh, right 45 for that uh, runway 23. All the way around, okay. And then uh, what was the field elevation, or what was the traffic pattern for this? 3,400. 3,400. Okay. 4540. So should I adjust this to match that? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, in package, you can do that way. So if you do look at one of the other, you can still match it, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're looking out. Wickenburg traffic, Skyhawk 21212 is upwind, runway 23. We'll be too hard straight out to the south. Wickenburg. One second, I want to see. Get some more one out to get some signal. What do you need signal for? Seeing, uh, I was seeing if the fire was canceled after ours. Oh. We have 4G. I have 5G, so there's a big no work. Alright. Might be doing one touch and go. <laughs> but it's experience, right? Yep. Let's see if we can get to win. <laughs>
I have 10 nautical miles out, so give them a call. We'll keep on calling every 5 nautical miles, right? So, yeah. Wickenburg coverage, uh, Hawk 81 with Charlie, he's at 4,500, departure 10 nautical miles. Uh, to the south of uh, the airport, we'll be entering in a right 45 and running 2 3, and uh, remaining powder for touch and go. Excuse me, Wickenburg time. Are you show one person? Yeah, there's just one person. Left. Yeah. Uh, altitude, please. I want to get you lower close if you can. And you can put your hand on the throttle, but you're just sitting down. That's always fun. Alrighty, now what I want you to do is go ahead and just kind of follow this valley and start, you can start your descent down to 3,000. Got to lose a thousand feet, right? Yep, and we're just watching this traffic. It should be low into the, low, about 11 o'clock to us right now. Almost that same altitude. Let's go get a nice little descent going so we can get below him. Get out of his way. Yeah. Plus one. Let's see where you at. Where are you? Could be on the other side of the mountain. Yeah. Should be no fat pieces. Now I have a bra brush. Let's get that descent going down soon. Oh, okay. Five hundred above. Yep, we might be in that low cloud layer. We can barely see him. All right, let's look for that runway. Do you see that runway? I do not. That's right. Okay, over there to the right. right. About one o'clock. Let's go ahead and continue this way. Though we're not going towards it. All right, All right. we're not flying over. We're going to be entering at uh, right forty-five. So we're going to come back up and around into it and go into right forty-five. Oh, right. All right. We're going to get into that area once we leave that uh, 4,000 to send down to that type of pattern out for two for Wickenburg. Uh, we are approximately, uh, let's see, about 4,000 miles to the south. We have to write that uh, down with 22 days and making a pattern to put the road to the uh, Wickenburg type. Okay, so let's continue to pack on this little direction so we can like, just turn it up, back up and around. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're kind of getting ourselves into the pattern then, I mean? Yeah, so we're going to be going across yeah, We're going to be flying past the runway. Since there's no one in the pattern, no one else like that. We'll keep an eye out, make sure there's no one on the runway right now. And we have a nice little crosswind, like probably about four knots or so. 3,600, right? Or is it 3,400? Yeah, we're almost entering almost kind of like a, uh, almost a crosswind for this airport right now, right? Yeah, it seems intuitively like that would be, not be a good place to be. Yeah, intuitively it's not, but there's no one out there right now, so. Okay. And we're at traffic plan altitude too, so we'll just let them know too. The big traffic plan out there, you want to tell you, is, uh, we're going to make that, uh, 2400, we're going to be, uh, at the, let's see, east of the, excuse me. With uh, the airport flying at about 2,400. Okay, so make sure it's not on final, no one coming up. Okay, so checklist. Going that. Yep, so let's go ahead and go towards this direction here and bring up, sneak back in again to the next low 45 degree. Okay. So we're going to want to put our landing lights on. Yep, landing lights on. Get your checklist going for that. Finish the throttle set. Aid is update. That's before landing. Altitude. Altitude. 
too close, too close, too close. Too close? Yeah. We're just going to go into like a 45. Oh, area. so we're going to pass yeah. and then It's not a busy airport, so we can, like, at least I can utilize like, our technique when we're going into it and coming into like a proper engine, just like how we do at uh, Guji, right? Okay. Got me thrown going past the takeoff point. Seems yeah. like you'd just be a target. Okay. Alright, so now we can come back. Yeah, so go ahead and circle back up and around. Get my altitude correct. About 3,400, 3,400. Okay, I'm a little confused here. I know we're increasing a little bit here. We could have gone out just a little bit further. So we're going in, not exactly at 45 I wanted to do. Okay. So that's why we're a little bit off here. So we want to do that, at least at 45 coming off the edge of the runway. Figure that would be a little bit further out. We we're coming back in, so we can't like, kind of clear that whole pattern area. Okay. That's what the whole intention was for that one, right? Okay. Super okay. Right down with the running QP. We can break traffic. Okay, your controls. My controls. Okay. Once you get wings level here, we're going to see that thousand foot marker. Okay. We're almost at the thousand foot marker. Now we are. So pull back tower. Pull back tower. Right descent. And keep your nose kind of pointing to these little bounds over here. Okay. We have a really big descent going on right here, right? Going back about 500 feet. It's about 85 on the uh, uh, airspeed indicator. Alright. Flaps 10, throw 110. Throw 110, flaps 10. Alright, that's about 45, so let's go ahead and start heading back towards uh, to your base turn. Base turn. Watch the speed, keep it nose down. Quick, 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 uh, right base of running to the working for traffic. And yeah, I will be a uh, straight out the park track right after this one. Working for traffic. Okay. Out of the ranks, I'll wrap this 20. And then I'll turn in. Okay, we're at 78. Yep, and then we do have a path on this one as well. Steady, below 85. Go high, go power. Oh, excuse me. Like they're full red to me. A little, uh, it's actually kind of hard to see right now, huh? Looks like two whites, two red. No. Yes. I see that. <laughs> I don't know. The transfer to it too. It's kind of hard to see it. I will pull the panel a little bit. Uh, that. Oh, that pressure. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Perfect. Oh. That was beautiful. That was better. Oh my god. That wraps up. Wraps up. Let's go. That's the way we're supposed to do it. <laughs> That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. Alright, we'll just do it straight out the porch after this one, okay? Alright. Bye. Okay. And tap the brakes. Tap the brakes. Okay, one time in the and then we have to the to the and then we'll go ahead and back towards that Buckeye. Uh, Buckeye. Okay, you're yeah, so okay, so going to have to back towards that Buckeye. Okay, so you're going to have to back towards that Buckeye. Okay, so you're going to have to back towards that Buckeye. Okay, so you're going to have to back towards that Buckeye. Okay, so you're going to have to back towards that Buckeye. Okay, so you're going to have to back towards that Buckeye. Okay, so you're going to have to back towards that Right. But if you have mountains there and it's dark, you don't know. Yeah. So it did put us up in that in a little situation. Yeah. We knew where the traffic was at, and there was no one at the airport, and they can I did you see that as well. Right.
Good is going to continue to climb. Okay, climb checklist, landing right drop. Goes on. Goes on. Oh, you know what? Just like that's what happened. It's just not staying on. Yeah, we'll find something when we get back to the ground. There it goes. A little right. jiggling. Let's get back. I'm going to make sure we can clear the balance. Good. I was going to continue out past these mountains a little bit because our climb gradient is as great as I want it to be. Uh, so, a little bit off to the right would be great. A flaps up. A little more to the right. If you want um, to uh, go ahead and go to the right or go to the left, you can uh, take a few pictures if you want it to with your, for your uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, so, it's up to you. We have time. Okay. Let's, should we go to the left? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. Take it. Yeah, I'll take control of it. You can do it, Mike. Okay. Actually, we will, yeah, yeah. that'll be fine. We'll go to the left and we'll come back. Over here. Just do like a nice little basic. Out here. Okay, well, you know what? My dad flew here at night, so he probably doesn't know what it looked like <laughs> back then. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do a little video for him. Hey, Dad. Here's Wickenburg Airport now. Now, you couldn't see it 60 something years ago. Did your first night flight? Thanks. I'll get a kick out of that. I remember at the last minute, I'm like, oh yeah, you want yeah, to Yeah, I'm glad you remembered. Oh yeah. And I did a perfect landing, too. I know, it was better. That was so beautiful. Alright. Camera's better than no one. Okay, so now we're going back to. Okay, you want to hop fly for a second? Let no, me I'll fly. Play with this. So we're going to the map, and we're going to go direct. We can look at it now. Eighty one Charlie, five fifty nine miles to the south. We're going to continue on to uh, at four thousand five hundred and five hundred. It was going to be supporting towards Buckeyes. Last call. We're going to be traffic. Okay, so now, in general, would it just be easier to veer off when we get to that area? Yeah, so in general, what we'll do is either overfly or come back in uh, on the opposite side of the mountain right here, come back all the way around. So we have a little go more around. space because that was a little bit too close. And like, when I came through, I'm like, I look at the map, I'm like, okay, I should be about right. And then I see coming back over that mountain, I'm like, eh, we're a little close. It's like, alright, we'll be fine. So then that's why we had to answer more like that. Yeah, I mean, going home. Oh, going home. Oh, we're pointing straight at that uh, bad area. I did a direct flight. So we're just going to hit that corner of the alert area. Do, yeah. we, do you normally just go around it, or do you call in and... Oh, the alert area, you have to call in for anything like that, right? You do not. No, not for the alert. Alert area, you don't have to have, make any type of initial contact with any governing agency. Yeah, that's what I thought. Did you just want to avoid it? You know, no, you just have to keep be more alert when you're in there. Okay. And so you just get more heads outside. And but in this sense, what we're going to do is once we get to 5,500. Do some more hood stuff. I'll keep you. <laughs> we're going to first set the VOR, then I'll put you back into the hood so you can track it a little bit longer. And then it's not going to be that much longer, just to kind of, you wouldn't have to have the hood on. Yeah. But we'll do, uh...
Alright. So we're listening to like now one now two. We did set up bucket V O R. Bucket V O R is gonna be this general direction. So we have our uh VOR uh uh now one and now two. Okay. So we 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 want to like identify it. So we already tuned it, now we have to identify. We have to use like a team checklist, right? So the team check team checklist is gonna be tuned, identify, so I'll go ahead and push one. Okay, I'm gonna have to order. What you're doing is you're listening to a specific Morse code that's on that. So you can hear that a little bit of that Morse code. If you pull this out, it's going to make the intensity a little more like the, the signal a little bit better, right? Uh, so, where do we check that? We go to the uh, yeah, okay. yeah, so you go to your Buckeye VOR. There's going to be a Morse code that you're going to be listening to. And then you just have to double check that. So, so this is the Buckeye VOR. Buckeye, there it is. Alright, and off to the sponsor here. No, yeah, no, don't, don't tap that. Oh, yes, don't need to. Okay. Right okay. And for 106, uh, 110.6, episode 110.6. Okay. And then, uh, that's a Morris code that we're listening to. Right there. One second. There's the dash. What altitude are you trying to stay at? 5,500. <laughs> I'm just sending, I'm just sending. <laughs> Alright. We're valley running 497, is that 2,800? Thank you very much, that's it, right? Greenfield's heading towards the gap, the last call in the valley. So let's do it again. Okay, I got it. So now we're very fine, Matt. Uh, that. Do, do, do. So now we can twist the, uh, the OBS right here. We want to have it right here. We'll have a two indication. Yeah. So we'll give it a one. Go to it. One, one, zero, six. So we're going to slowly bring this in. Oh, uh, Charlie, you three, want to go six, to what angle? Two hundred four uh -huh. miles north of Buckeye VOR. We're we'll descending down to 2,500, heading towards Charcetto and Oxford. Okay. Have a lovely time. That's surprising, I think. So right now, north. What radio th do you think we're on right now? We're on a 170, uh, 2. So we're on a radio, right? So we're heading towards the radio of uh, 170. So if we turn to a heading of 170, that should give us a... Uh, Follow the track? Yeah, follow that track all the way across the board. Oh my god, my house. Can I do that uh, on the... Uh, I'm sure we can, right? Do I have to tune that on the GPS? Uh, you can. It can use this, like, yeah, all, like the nearest on this one. The nearest, that'd be VOR. Four, six, so, four, zero, yeah, here's six, the... Seven, VOR, enter, Buckeye. Direct. So now we have both, uh, which uh, direction that we want. Maintain, so uh, one seven, the seven. Now we're going to have the one seven zero. Now we're just watching this as we go through. Now, so should that show that on there? Is it Okay, that's the Buckeye VOR. Yep. Gotcha. So I should be able to do that on this too. I just gotta figure out where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. Alright, your controls. Uh, load. My controls. Race track? That's it, uh, test track? Yeah, a little test track. Okay, so I'm gonna follow 171. Yep, or if you're using the VOR, you can follow that. Okay. So if you start to track off of it, then that, yeah, that needle's going to, to, like, you know, just ch chant away from you. So you want to turn towards that needle, track back on that line. Okay. 
And Barney 453, you up? Barney 453. This is Barney 486. Are you guys planning on going back to the uh, the objects? Yeah, we plan on it. Are you guys heading back? Because we could just do a 360 real quick and give you guys some extra space. Uh, you guys can go first. We're doing a last 360 here. Uh, we'll just follow behind you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Right, 453. Oh, where are we listening to? Oh, uh, now we're listening to Rainbow Rally. Oh. Goes all the way out here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Playing the plane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit left. Yep. Rainbow Valley Texas area of Arnie 34 is 10 miles to the west of Power Verde Power Plant 2300, climbing 2500. Three transitioning eastbound out towards Buckeye for landing. Rainbow. Rainbow Valley Texas Sky, anyone tell you that 5600 approximately? 15 nautical miles to the north. Uh, we're heading towards uh, the Buckeye VOR. Uh, we're going to ride that. 15 nautical miles from Buckeye VOR. We're heading towards Buckeye VOR at 5,500. We're going to ride that. Okay, Rainbow Valley, Texas, 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 Yeah, I'm still going up. Yeah. A lot of gas today. Pull back the power. Pull back down. Now left of my VOR. Yeah, so with this one, you want to see your drag track, and you want to see your track right here. So you want this to match. Okay. Yeah. I can see how your your is going to be up there. So yeah, so I mentioned we have a checklist called Team Checklist. So we have your tune, your identifying, you navigate, and have a GPS and use GPS. Good. Over there. Go over to the right. Yep, so if you're slightly off to the right, then you can just get a few degrees off to the right. Depending on how many ticks you have, then you can slowly get back on that. As you watch that trend of that line of the needle to slowly get back on. Follow that trend and then you turn back on to that. Uh, this is Varney 834. We have you guys on the site. We're going to stay uh, to the north of you and transition eastbound out towards Buckeye. Is the Buckeye VOR at the end of that road? <laughs> Pretty much, it seems like, right? Remember, uh, traffic running 453 is departing out of the area via Ox 6, final call, Ripple 2. Yep. To the right.
Roger 1, let's go ahead and do it to send out to about 3,500. Okay, 3,500. And with the Matt Brown's airport, you want to give yourself a little more distance away from like that, especially on that final like dimension, where you want to further the distance out. So when you do come back up in, so you have a little bit of a break line, so you're going to approach coming into it. Uh, final call, Rainbow Road Truck. Alrighty. Rainbow traffic volume 455, about three miles south of Arlington Town, we'll be doing ground rest at about 2,000. Rainbow. Rainbow Valley, taxi there is lane 834, we're about four nautical miles south. Uh, call ready power plane, at 2,500, we will be heading to Buckeye. Final call, Rainbow. And you use Rainbow Valley traffic just because that's the the whole area. Uh, so we have different like areas that we use, but uh, for like Rainbow Valley or for Buckeye and all those other stuff, primarily it's used for uh, that frequency using that valley. So we have Southeast Valley, Southwest Valley that we have that is a different frequency for. And if we continue uh, a little bit further north, we're going to have a little more different frequency as well. So it's kind of broken up into about four different groups of frequencies that we can use. Okay. I'm going to off of that road just a little bit, maybe halfway down. Half a mile off of the road. Yep. So what's nice, what's interesting about like VOR is the closer you get, like you're going to get like uh, angle changes. Right, so you have like the frequency. Deviation is greater. <laughs> yeah, so once you get over like the VOR, you have like the, like, the cone of confusion, uh, confusion right? So. It's about where we get, start assessing how we want to start. Oh, whoops, yeah. I wanted to get a 3,500, 3, right? Yeah. Past it. So as you get closer, like, you think it's a little more sensitive and kind of goes out of, like, um, gives it more of, like, a obscured, like, uh, reading on it. That's when you start, like, uh, pretty much bugging your heading, making sure, like, you're way up, uh, like, uh, miles out of south, and kind of just flying that heading over it, right? And then uh, once you get closer to it, and we start going into that kind of comp uh, confusion, then we're going to see that it's called like a flip or a flop right here. So you're going to have oh, a, okay. so we're, so it goes from a two indication to, uh, uh, to a from indication. Okay, I was thinking it was down there, but it came quicker. Well, it's almost, it's almost here. So it should be pretty much right below us on, we on your side. Now you're going to see like this, as it slowly comes up. So if you continue watching the VOR, like, really trying to like, one, two, flip, like, one, I want to say, I want to say. <laughs> there we go, see. Okay, now, from, then I'll give you that from indication. Okay, so now if we have that set, 
we need to, in order for it to go up, we need to set it to push it around no, to this is, no, two? No, this will be, if you want this line to go oh. up, then it's going to have another, like, destination in front of us. So, oh, okay. like, heal up and it'll be, like, over here. We won't do a reverse GPS? No, uh, no reverse uh, view. Okay. <laughs> off of the GPS. Okay, okay. 413 is 14 miles to the west of Eagle Tail Private, 5,500 instrument pattern for Rainbow. Uh, track today, running 473, this departed Buckeye, head to uh, Luzak 6 at 2000, and we're good here at Monocall. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, head to this little valley over here. Is that the 60 right there? Uh, no, that is the. Uh, I don't think that's no, not the 60 out there. Oh, it's that. over there. You know where you at right now? Uh, not exactly. Uh, farther west. Oh, yeah, we have the. Uh, so we got the. So right off to the side over here, about 10 nautical miles, we have the uh, Buckeye uh, airport over there. Is there a little wet building right there? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good news, pretty much going to be straight parallel to us, uh, straight uh, perpendicular to us off the side over here. Here's the Rainbow Valley, off to the, about two. Uh, the Glen? Uh, yeah. Okay, so these, the, where's your uh, Lucy Peak or it's uh, over there? Lucy Peak? Yep. This is the Lucy Peak that you can see. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's uh, go ahead. Which way do you want me to go? Let's go ahead and head towards it. You have to see the solar fields over there. So it's, um, okay. Like I said, I got heading of like a 1 2 0 heading. Right here. Two zero. It looks like you've done this before. <laughs> okay, that's exactly the angle of that road there. Where that is. So is this I ten? Uh, I ten. It's gonna be on, over here on the back side. Oh, that was, that's I ten over there. Yes. A little farther south. Okay. Uh, that must be, uh, that's the old road. Take, come in here. Flame of Run Front to Zero, Runny, 513, Old Tire Farm, 4500, Heading back to Goodyear, Mention, 4500, uh, Northwest Farm. Nice and bumpy today. How was it about the morning? Pretty smooth? Um, yeah. Yeah, there was no way. That's good. Thank 
frequencies are put back in. So our uh, ATIS frequency for good ear is, what is it? 118.35. Far away from uh, could you? I already got it for you. <laughs> Try fourteen eight. Oh. And we're just going to the gap again, and then oh, we're coming in. Okay. Uh, it's almost that time. I mean, we might be able to get like one steep turn in if you want. Uh, do that too. Since we're out here, yeah, let's do one. Yeah, let's do a steep turn, and then uh. I should go on that one actually. Yeah, we have no time. Rainbow Ride Car is not getting one car. He's at 8,500 over the store. Uh, uh, the north side of the store is going to be packed with some seat turns. Rainbow Ride Car is going to be packed with some seat Alright, so. We're at 3,600. Uh, let's see, we have our any spots in land. If we have an emergency, we do have a little fill over here. And the desert below and some washes below as well. Alright, so uh, you talk it, you talk it through. What are you going to do? For the bridge? For a uh, steep turn. Oh, so maybe we want to get to a safe spot. We want to check, make sure we're clear. We want to see if we have a place to land, um, which we have altitude. So, uh, still, you'd want to get a little bit farther away before you get it. Yeah, we have a little bit better. It should be fine because we have like this road down here below us as well. We've got a few other spots all, all around us. Like over here, this road right here. Okay. So, I'm going to do a steep turn and I'm going to end up back at uh, 190. Let's see, no, oops. Uh, 110. Or 100. And then we have that uh, mountain, that, that peak uh, route way out in the distance as well for visual reference, right? Okay. 
All right, we're at 95. We're good altitude. Good trim. Good bumps. We're clear. Left and right. We're clear on yep. traffic. Okay, steep turn. Turn to left. Step on the rudder. Pull back. Nice and bank, please. Hey, uh, we are slightly in front of you. Uh, I'm not sure you're going through the gap as well. This is Cessna 878 for uniform. If you want to like, come behind us or overtake us, you should be a part of the boat. Okay, there's 16, come behind you, running for 13. All right, I appreciate that. Cessna 878 for uniform. 913, make it tight. We're running 51. It's about three miles in third. Perfect. I do not have to say 913. That was actually beautiful. I was like, um, Picture perfect. Picture perfect. I can't ask you for anything more. Alright, let's head back to the gap before I throw up. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like struggling right now, man. Right. I'm not gonna lie. No problem. Go a lot in. Okay, we're gonna do our descent checklist. Yep. Descent checklist. Uh, uh, instruments within limits. Throttle uh, set. Mixture set. Latest update. We got that. Yep. Descent complete. Alright, what information do we have you before landing checklist? Whiskey, right? There you go. We are whiskey. Let me double check that before you get all the way before okay. I get on. Do it one more time. Yeah, okay. let's try to get down to 3000. Wind 25018, gust 16. Temperature 19 or 2.5, altimeter 2906. Visual approach in use, landing and departing runway 21. Look special air traffic cool is active. Notice their emissions, 177 foot crane, 2.72 nautical miles west, the approach in runway 3. Hazardous weather information for Arizona is available on flight table 2nd, please. Advise on initial contact, you have information, whiskey. Yeah. What altitude did you want me at? 3,000. 3,000, sir. I thought it would remember more than 10 seconds. We're going to rock out with Skyhawk at A1 for Charlie A. Approximately 2,510 down to 3,000 over the South Carolina ship. Any back into the gap, uh, it's back to your gear for our last call. And we're on traffic. Pull that low burn up higher back because we're following a few people in. Okay. About 1 o'clock, almost the amount of two. See what it's about. Got that traffic right there. That's the one I would be paying for long so she's pretty far away. Okay, I don't see them. Uh, one o'clock, same altitude. Oh, yeah, about one o'clock. Coming up to them, was coming in front of us now. Alright. Go ahead and switch over to Comp 5. Got them in sight. 851, they're indicating 50 knots slower than you. I recommend you reduce your speed. Make left traffic on the 200 before Dillon. Last uh, we brought down the limit to run and reduce the speed on the ATC one. We got the three people in front of us? Is that right? Yep. Alright, let's go ahead. 410, contact ground point 7. Looks like they're roughly close to us. 471, get the tower right traffic on the 200 report down, traffic in the pattern. 421, right traffic, 421, right 421. It's 3000. 473, turn cross. Turn across, run by 473. Alright. So 59 Victor, the Sears is turning cross and so I'm going to finish up your checklist. Finish up your checklist. Thank you. Okay. Before landing, check back. Just checklist. Keep backs upright. Keep belts on. Go select the valve and belt. Touch. Go back to your traffic and tight line. Mixture is good. Autopilot. Not used. Landing and taxi lights. 4471, make a right taxi. Right. Get them back inbound through that one entry for spacing. Alright, um, go ahead and uh, get tower call. 4471, this is coming again. 4471, go ahead. 4471, make a right 360 for spacing. 360 for spacing, 4471. 838, extend up when I'll call your cross one. It might be out of the air space uh, at point like for spacing. Extend up when we'll call at turn uh, on the 838. Good, your tower, Skyhawk 881 Alpha Charlie, entering the gap about 8 miles south of the airport for a full stop landing. 
Ground and Port Power. Right. Six five thirteen, contact Ground Point Seven off Runway. Clock Ground and Port Power. Uh, Twenty five thirteen. Twenty thirty eight, charge your base. Two more following you. Twenty eight thirty eight. I see you. Okay. Twenty thirty eight. Turn base. There's two more following you that need to extend as well. Okay. Twenty thirty eight. Twenty eight thirty eight. I need a right turn direct to the runway. Four five eight thirty eight. One to the right. Altitude speed. So we're going to be going out by the right, so I don't want to slow down too much time. It's still up, traffic 11 o'clock, 4 miles out of directions, another Cessna inbound at 2600 indicated. Yeah, so we're going to continue uh, to go check. Uh, traffic, yeah, we're following it's way out there. So it's so Mike Echo, traffic across the raceway, 11 o'clock, 3 miles south, eastbound, 2700 indicated, a departing uh, uh, Cessna. So we're going to be at descent. 1051, contact ground point 7, off the runway. The ground, uh, off the runway 1, the edge, side 1. So they want to try, go ahead and make a left 360, so I don't have to take you in Glendale's airspace. Go ahead and make that left 360, yeah, either one, whichever. Thank you, Cessna, so Mike Echo, the Cessna's passed above and she left a mile and a half, no factor. So 718, the Cessna's ahead to your left, less than a mile, and they're uh, 2400 indicated, no factor, frequency change proof. We got a flag of story. Altitude. Yep. Just get you that nice little corner turn. Blah, blah, blah. One out, Kyle. You can roll out of that turn direct to the base. Just fly over the I-10. Runway 2 on Quidland. All right, roll out of the turn. Runway 2 on Quidland, 81, Charlie. This is go straight. There's a traffic that we're following is right there. This is approximately a... So right about here, we are a little bit low. Go ahead. Like Echo, you appear to be turning to, uh, northbound. Four about power back. Four about power back. Southbound 3,400. About two miles away. So four about power back to idle. No, I don't. Sorry. Uh, about uh, about 1,600. Power back. Then you turn back to southeast. Maybe two four zero heading for five. Under one ten. Kind of like a three four seven. Like Echo. Twenty eight thirty eight. Extend up when it's necessary to follow the Cessna ahead of you. They're in right close traffic. You can offset a little bit to the left to avoid them, but turn cross on your discretion to follow them. Right off the left at uh, our discussion, right there. Alrighty. Let's just uh, do about 20 degrees top side. Stop about that, okay? We have a little bit of a gust factor. We want to come in landing a little bit faster than we want to be, so around 70. Not sure, final, okay? Let's just do flaps uh, 20. Yep, so below 85, flaps 20. So we're going to bring that nose up just a bit. Okay, below 85, flaps 20. Yeah, just a little bit of gust here, so. Okay. 3471, turn left out for 5, contact ground point 7 off the runway. About 5 from the ground off the runway, 2471. A little bit of power, to stay with a little high, right? Yep. Just by 9 Victor, runway 2 1, continue. Traffic will hold in position. So we can pull a little bit of power back. Power back. First of all, just getting out of the top of the Victor. Sorry, so pulling the more. A little high either way, right? This one is like lights. So it's 43, run me to a line of plate. Power back. Right down. So it's going to line of plate. Uh, 43. You can resume your own uh, heading for left down entry. Left down entry. Thank you. Resume your own heading for left down entry. 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 Left down ent
Laps out, and then... Just one up, Charlie, turn left out, five, contact ground point, seven off, running. Turn out, five, contact ground point, seven, uh, eight, eight, one, Charlie. 